Hello everyone, it's FCA and I'm going to be doing a tutorial. It is an Easter um, spring look and I will zoom you in to show you. Um, there's very light pink in the crease and a teal mint um, turquoise kind of color and then a light highlight and white in the waterline and then mascara. It's very simple, very um, very springtimey, very light, very daytime, um, and it's color that's wearable. So, and it includes pastel colors that are very in in the springtime and always have been. And um, the mint is kind of, I've seen a lot of mint and of course I have a lot of tangerine, but this color, um, I really like my turquoise little sweater that I have and I've been loving it so I've fallen in love with the color like mint and turquoises so um yeah and we're going to just go ahead and get started this shouldn't be a very long tutorial even without editing I haven't quite gotten my um, editing stuff down so I'm going to move my mirror to the other side here so I can see properly and we will get started First thing we're going to do is Urban Decay Primer Potion or any primer that you have. This is just the one that I like. Just need a little bit on your finger and that's actually like a ton. Anyway, here we go. Bring it all the way up and under because we are going to be putting a little bit of color, not a lot, under the lid. I'm just really blending that out. Then we're going to take a small paddle brush, and this is the e.l.f. palette, uh, number in cool, not number, it's in cool, and we're going to be using this last color here, this really minty turquoise green as our main lid color, so we're going to load up our brush, tap off the extra, and then, oops. I ran out of frame. Excuse me. Alrighty. I'm patting it on the corners and then sweeping across the main portion of the lid. Don't go up too high into your crease. You don't want that. At least that's not the little guy I'm presenting. <laughs> Then with a crease brush of any sort, this is a badger brush that I got from Coastal Scents perhaps, yes? I'm going to be taking the Coastal Scents uh, Warm Palette and up here there's a pastel pink in the very middle at the top. There is a pastel, very light pink. I'm going to just get my brush in there. You might want to swirl it pretty hard in there. Well, not hard, but, you know, a few times to really get a good amount of color on here. And then, it always hurts when I don't use the right hand for that eye. And just put that into the crease. This is a very light color. And if you have darker skin, um, you won't need to go past this because this color will come up quite vibrantly. If you have lighter color, I mean, if you have darker color skin, for people who have lighter color skin like myself, we're going to put this in the crease, and then with the Elf palette, we're going to also mix in a bit of this. Um, like if you go from the turquoise diagonal to it, is this nice? It looks lighter in the. There we go. It's a nice medium pink, um, kind of a bubblegum pink. And just load your brush on that just to make the pink stand out a little more because as you can see just plain um, it's okay but it doesn't really um, stand out and you don't want to over blend into the green because green and pink do not make a beautiful color at least not in my opinion now if you have mono lids um, where you don't have this little hood right here, just bring the color up higher and 
like bring the green up higher, bring the pink up higher, and it will look all the same. Now I don't know about you, but I always seem to have this problem where my brush disappears on me. But anyways, after you get that all sorted out, you can add in more green if you feel like you've lost some of the green. I'm going to do that. I have a... Going back to the paddle brush, I'm just going to put in the more of that teal green that got taken away and some of that pinkness. And using the um, Coastal Sense Warm Palette again, I am choosing a color that's not my skin tone, but is a few shades lighter, more towards the yellow end, but it is still matte. I'm keeping with the matte looks. Um, bangs went in my eye. There we go. Going to line the waterline in white. This is Elate from Illamasqua. Sorry, my eyes starting to water, so it doesn't want to take the take the color on. Then we're going to take um, a smudger brush in that turquoise green and just lightly pull it under the eye just so there's a little connection down there and then we're going to take our eyelash curler curl our lashes and I'm using um, Volumizing Mascara from NYC in Showtime, and it is in Extreme Black. Now you can continue to add liner if you want, um, but I'm going to stick to this very pastel, very simple kind of look. Um, and we are. And that's all I'm going to do. You can add just a nice highlight, very light pink to your cheeks and then a light pink or gloss to your lips. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.